In this experiment, I looked at the effects of the telomerase activator, TA65, on the lifespans of C. elegans. C. elegans are a widely used biological model with a relatively small genome of 100,291,840 base pairs and a very rapid lifespan of about 3 to 30 days. Biologists often turn to this specimen for biological studies. I chose C. elegans because of their rapid lifespans, making it possible to score their lifespans over the course of a month. The fundamental question of this experiment was will the drug TA65 have an effect on the lifespans of C. elegans? The idea behind TA65 is actually quite simple when you look at the big picture. Telomerase is a naturally occurring enzyme in cells. Telomerase works to repair your telomeres, or the caps of your chromosomes. As your cells divide, your telomeres get shorter and shorter with each division, until they get so short that the cells go through apoptosis. The issue with telomerase is after early fetal development, it is inactivated in somatic cells. To combat this, TA65 activates telomerase and allows it to rejuvenate the telomeres of your chromosomes. So, if telomerase can keep your telomeres healthy, we should see an increase in the C. elegans lifespan. Scoring a lifespan accurately is a very important part of running one. To do so, you lay a lid with a grid under the plate you are counting, and then carefully mark down each live worm. For the dead worms, you use a worm pick and remove them from the plate. A worm pick is designed with a flat tip to make moving the worms easier. You repeat this process of counting and removing worms until all worms are dead. The amount of time this takes gives you your lifespan. My experimental setup was quite simple. With the help of my mentor, Josh Russell, we added TA65 to all of our worm plates, then proceeded to seed each plate with 30 to 50 worms. To increase the likelihood of good data, we used three different concentrations of TA65. We had control plates with no drug, 1x concentrations that had 2 mils of TA65 solution, and a 10x concentration that had 20 mils of TA65 solution. Since there have been no studies on the effects of TA65 on C. elegans, we really had no idea where to start. Because of complications in dissolving the TA65, we don't know the exact amount of active ingredient in the solutions, just that the 10x has 10 times as much as the 1x. We believe that this would have gotten us sufficient data. My mentor and I both agreed that two lifespans would give us the most margin for error, so when we started our first lifespan, we knew we had time for a second. While working at the Caberlane lab with my mentor was an honor, driving there three times a week was not possible. To compromise, my mentor allowed me to bring the plates home as long as they were kept at room temperature. Having time for two trials would be very important, as in the first few days of our first trial, many of the plates had bacterial or fungal growth. This type of growth requires that you transfer all worms to new plates, but being inexperienced, I was not able to transfer enough worms to continue the experiment. So my mentor and I restarted, made new plates, grew new worms, and had extra precautions to try and avoid contamination the second time around. We added extra antibiotics to the worm plates themselves to try and avoid any living bacteria. After the plates dried, we wrapped each plate in parafilm to avoid any spreading of possible contamination. And we agreed, any time the lids need to come off, the plates need to be kept under a sterile fume hood. With these three new precautions, we were confident it would work. But like a lot of other scientific experiments, there were complications yet again. Within a matter of days after taking the worms home the second time, contamination started to appear again. The contamination started on a Friday after school, and with it being a weekend, I did not have access to the school to try and salvage the plate. So unfortunately, we gathered no viable data from this experiment. The contamination spread too quickly into too many plates to be able to accurately record how many worms were alive on each plate. Looking towards future studies, I would say the most important aspect would be to keep the worms in a very sterile environment. I still don't know if TA65 will actually extend C. elegans lifespans, but this experiment was not a loss by any means. The experience I gained at the Caberlane Lab was something I'll never forget and take with me into my career. So I would like to thank everyone for all of the help that I got throughout this experience, and for the experience itself.